Have you ever heard of graphene? It's a name that's echoed through the halls of science and technology for over a decade, often hailed as a miracle material with almost magical properties. For years, it was the wonder material, one atom thick, stronger than steel, and incredibly light. Its discovery sparked a revolution, inspiring researchers and engineers to dream up futuristic applications, from ultra-fast electronics to super-strong composites. But now, there's a new contender stepping into the spotlight, monolayer amorphous carbon, or MAC. This material is poised to challenge everything we thought we knew about what's possible at the nanoscale. MAC is tougher than graphene, opening up possibilities that once seemed like science fiction. Imagine a material that doesn't just resist breaking, but can absorb impacts and flex in ways that were previously unimaginable. Imagine bendable phones that never crack, wearable devices that are nearly indestructible, or spacecraft that can survive deeper into space, enduring the harshest conditions without failing. Graphene showed us the power of two-dimensional materials, but MAC takes it to a whole new level, pushing the boundaries of what we can achieve with carbon atoms arranged in novel ways. Its unique structure makes it not just strong, but exceptionally tough, able to withstand forces that would shatter or tear other materials. This toughness could redefine safety and durability standards across industries. Scientists at top universities and research centers have managed to create this material in the lab, overcoming challenges that once seemed insurmountable. MAC rearranges carbon atoms in a surprising way, resulting in a giant leap for material science. Its atomic structure is more disordered than graphene, yet this very disorder gives it remarkable resilience. For years, graphene was the king of nanoscale strength, but MAC is rewriting the story showing us that there's still so much more to discover in the world of supermaterials. It can resist tearing and withstand more punishment than anything before it, making it a game-changer for industries that demand both strength and flexibility. This discovery could change everything from electronics to space travel, paving the way for devices and vehicles that are lighter, tougher, and more reliable than ever before. So what makes MAC so special? What secrets lie within its atomic arrangement that give it such extraordinary properties? Let's dive in and find out. We'll explore how it's different from graphene, what sets it apart, and how it could transform our world in ways we're only beginning to imagine. Let's begin our journey into the world of MAC, the new champion in the realm of supermaterials. So what is monolayer amorphous carbon or MAC? It's a name you'll be hearing a lot more in the world of advanced materials and for good reason. This new substance is already being called a wonder material by researchers and industry experts alike. Like graphene, MAC is made up of a single layer of carbon atoms, so thin it's almost invisible, and so light it barely registers on a scale. But don't let its delicate appearance fool you, this material is packed with potential. The key difference between MAC and graphene lies in the word amorphous. While graphene is famous for its perfectly ordered structure, MAC is something entirely different. Instead of a flawless honeycomb lattice, MAC's atoms are arranged in a random, almost chaotic pattern, a beautiful mess at the atomic level. This randomness is not a flaw, but a feature. In fact, this disorder is its secret weapon. The jumbled arrangement of atoms gives MAC a unique kind of toughness and resilience that scientists are only beginning to understand. MAC was discovered by a collaborative team from Penn State, the University of Virginia, and Japan's National Institute for Materials Science. Their diverse backgrounds and expertise made this breakthrough possible. They weren't following a set recipe or chasing a specific outcome. They were venturing into the unknown, driven by curiosity and a willingness to challenge old assumptions. Their groundbreaking work was published in the prestigious journal Nature, instantly capturing the attention of scientists and engineers around the globe. For decades, the scientific community believed that only perfectly ordered crystalline materials could be truly strong and reliable. But MAC turns that idea upside down. It proves that disorder, when harnessed correctly, can actually make a material more powerful and versatile. Its random atomic structure makes it incredibly robust, sometimes even outperforming its more famous crystalline cousins like graphene in certain tests. This discovery opens up a whole new world for creating materials with properties we've never seen before. Flexibility, strength, and resilience all in one. MAC is more than just a scientific breakthrough. It's a challenge to everything we thought we knew about how materials work and what makes them strong. It's not just a new material, it's a new way of thinking about the building blocks of our world, and it could inspire a wave of innovation across multiple industries. So, 
How does MAC really stack up against graphene? Let's take a closer look and see how these two remarkable materials compare. To truly understand what makes MAC so special, let's start by comparing it to something you might have heard of. Graphene, the superstar of the carbon world. Imagine graphene as a wall built from perfect, identical bricks, each one fitting seamlessly with the next. This flawless arrangement gives graphene incredible strength, but it also makes it a bit like glass, strong yet brittle and prone to shattering under the right kind of stress. Now, picture MAC as a wall built from bricks of all shapes and sizes, jammed together in a completely random pattern. There's no neat order here, just a chaotic jumble that somehow holds together. This randomness isn't a flaw, it's a feature. It gives MAC a different kind of strength known as toughness, which is the ability to absorb energy and resist breaking, even when pushed to the limit. Strength is all about how much force a material can take before it snaps in two, like pulling on a rope until it breaks. Toughness, on the other hand, is about how much energy a material can soak up before it finally gives way. It's the difference between something that cracks under pressure and something that bends, flexes, and keeps going. Graphene, for all its strength, is a bit like a ceramic plate. Drop it or hit it just right, and it shatters instantly. MAC, in contrast, is both strong and tough, more like a car tire that can absorb bumps, impacts, and rough roads without falling apart. In fact, scientists have discovered that MAC is about eight times tougher than graphene, making it one of the most resilient carbon materials ever created. In graphene, a tiny crack can quickly race across the entire sheet, causing catastrophic failure in an instant. But in MAC, the random tangled structure acts like a maze, blocking cracks from spreading and stopping damage in its tracks. This makes MAC far more resistant to breaking, even under extreme conditions. This difference isn't just interesting in the lab, it's a huge deal for real-world applications where materials need to survive impacts, stress, and wear over time. MAC's exceptional toughness means it can survive impacts and stresses that would easily destroy graphene or other brittle materials, opening up new possibilities for safer, longer-lasting products. It's a true game-changer for everything from next-generation electronics to aerospace engineering where both strength and toughness are critical. The secret to MAC's power lies in its messiness. Those imperfections and random connections at the microscopic level are exactly what make it so effective. In the world of advanced materials, MAC's unique, tangled atomic structure is its superpower, giving it properties that scientists have been chasing for years. So how did scientists actually create this remarkable material? Let's take a closer look at the process behind MAC's invention. Creating a one-atom thick material is no small feat. Scientists used a technique called pulsed laser deposition. They placed a block of carbon in a vacuum chamber and blasted it with a powerful laser. Each laser pulse vaporized a bit of carbon, creating a cloud of atoms. These atoms shot across the chamber and landed on a smooth surface, forming a single, ultra-thin layer. The process had to be controlled with extreme precision, too hard, and the atoms bounce off, too soft, and they don't form a solid sheet. After many experiments, the team found the perfect recipe for high-quality MAC. This method lets them build the material one atom at a time. It's a delicate dance of physics and engineering. The result? A perfectly thin, tough sheet of monolayer amorphous carbon. This breakthrough wouldn't be possible without patience and precision. Now, with MAC in hand, the next step was to test its strength. How tough is it, really? To test MAC's strength, scientists used a diamond-tipped indenter, like poking a trampoline with a microscopic needle. They measured how much force the material could take and how much it stretched before breaking. Graphene failed quickly when a crack formed, confirming its brittleness. MAC, on the other hand, stretched and absorbed energy, and even when punctured, the tear didn't spread. Its disordered structure stopped cracks in their tracks. The result, MAC's fracture toughness, is about eight times higher than graphene's. Computer simulations confirmed these findings, revealing why MAC's messy structure is so resilient. This was the wow moment. MAC had overcome graphene's biggest weakness. Why does toughness matter? Imagine a phone screen that doesn't shatter or wearable tech that bends and twists without breaking. Toughness means durability, surviving drops, impacts, and daily wear. In flexible electronics, toughness is everything. MAC could make smart clothing, bendable displays, and electronic skin possible. In space, tough materials protect satellites from micrometeoroids and harsh conditions. MAC's toughness means lighter, safer spacecraft and longer-lasting biomedical implants. It's not just about strength, it's about reliability and safety. 
Graphene's brittleness limited its use but Max toughness opens new doors. This combination of strength and toughness is the holy grail for engineers. Mac could redefine what's possible in technology and beyond. Where could we see Mac in the real world? The most immediate use is in electronics, unbreakable phone and tablet screens. Mac could reinforce the bodies of laptops and phones, making them lighter and tougher. In wearables, Mac-based sensors could be woven into smart clothing, tracking health without feeling stiff or fragile. Its strength and flexibility make it perfect for electric vehicles and aircraft, reducing weight and saving energy. Mac could also revolutionize water filtration creating thin, tough membranes for clean water. In space every gram counts, Mac could build lighter, more durable satellites and solar panels. Its resilience to extreme conditions makes it ideal for deep space missions. Mac's potential stretches from our pockets to the stars. It's a material ready to transform industries. The future is wide open. Mac's discovery isn't just about one material, it's about changing how we think. For years, scientists chased perfection, but Mac proves there's strength in disorder. Now, researchers are exploring amorphous materials made from other elements, searching for new superpowers. Computer simulations let them design and test new materials before making them in the lab. This materials-by-design approach speeds up discovery and innovation. Mac's story inspires scientists to question old assumptions and embrace the unexpected. The next generation of inventors will build on this, creating materials we can't yet imagine. Sometimes, the most powerful breakthroughs come from breaking the rules. What's next for Mac? The challenge is scaling up production for real-world use. Scientists are working to make larger sheets and combine Mac with other materials for super-strong composites. Imagine feather light bikes, flexible armor, or pollution filtering membranes. Researchers are also exploring Mac's other properties, conductivity, transparency, and more. Each discovery unlocks new possibilities, from clean energy to advanced medicine. Mac is more than a headline, it's a glimpse into a smarter, stronger future. The journey has just begun.